Hello there. <laughs> what is up you guys? Thank you again for tuning in. Hope you are all safe in your homes. This is no ordinary vlog because today we are celebrating something. Guys, oh my god. We are celebrating 2,000 subscribers. Oh my god. Sorry, 200 subscribers. Oh my god. That's my goal, 100 subscribers, and then now I'm on 200. And now let's try to level up the goal, which is uh, 100,000 subscribers. If you're a part of that uh, 200 subscribers, thank you, thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart. I consider you guys one of the early ones to be joining me in this uh, YouTube journey. And uh, if you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. We have a lot of content that you can but we can get out So, that said, today we have another photography-related video, but I didn't get photos. Earlier today, I asked some really good photographer friends of mine to send me some of their photos and then we edit that in Sela today. Obviously, all credits go to the owners of the photos. Now, I will be mentioning them once I'm editing their uh, photo. You can see Instagram handles nila somewhere here. I advise you guys to please follow these amazing people because without them, we don't have video. Na to. And so, uh, thank you guys for being a part of this uh, celebratory video. Also in this video, you will see how I personally approach certain photos and uh, this is kind of a challenge for me because I don't know the photos, I don't know the story behind these photos so it's gonna be quite a challenge for me to, to, to edit these and give justice to the photos. Also you'll be seeing my workflow, how I start editing and how I feel like the edit is already good to be posted. It's all personal preference. So with all that said and done, let's put these photos on the Lightroom and then yeah, let's edit. We're gonna edit. <laughs> Okay, so this first photo we have is from Liam De Chavez. Uh, Liam is a good friend of mine, teammate Karinche sa UP Pep, and uh, he's an amazing, amazing portrait photographer. So he gave me two photos. This is one, and this is another. Uh, I don't think he mentioned the names of these people, so whoever you are, thank you for being a part of this video. I hope I give justice to your photos. So let's start. Uh, I usually go to the tone curve first. Counting adjustments lang sa light because this is well, very well lit in my opinion but uh, I'll just do some adjustments of my own and then um, we'll see where it takes us. And then after the tone curve, gagalawin ko na yung actual lighting. So I, I usually put my contrast down, the highlights down to see some detail. Let's bring up the shadows. Lagyan natin ng counting uh, whites, not too much. Let's recover some blacks there. So already may kita niya may difference na siya. So this is the before and then this is the after. Uh, yeah, I, I usually go for that major faded look. And then uh, one tip when it comes to clarity. Uh, kasi clarity, um, medyo sinisira niya yung saturation ng photo mo. So in the beginning, before I touch on the colors, inuuna ko ng clarity. Well, it depends sa photos. So this one, counting that's lang. And then I'll touch on these guys later. Reds. Uh-huh. So make it any detail in red. So far it's just the lip part. And then we'll keep that a little on the natural side. So sometimes it's hard for me to identify kung ano yung mga colors na magagalaw ko. Kaya pinaglalaroan ko muna yung hue slider para makita ko kung oh ito pala yung nagagalaw na ito. Let's go here. Desaturate that a bit. And yeah. A lot of the times I have trial and error when it comes to editing photos. Lalo na dito, this, these are not my photos so uh, I'm very careful to how I approach them. Let's put a little vignette to darken the sides. So yeah, this is the before, this is the after. And I think I'm happy with this. Uh, portrait really isn't my thing, so I think this will... To me, this looks nice already. So let's see the before and after. Alright, side by side. On the left, you have the before, on the right, after. Yeah. That's what I ended up with. Okay, next photo. This one is very well composed photo. Okay, I 
nakikita ko dito will mess with some just some tones yeah. also another thing to note when I edit uh, I usually take my time to uh, dwell on a photo because I just want them to look really nice and presentable when I post them online in this case, talagang bibilisan ko I, I can't really take too long because this is a video. <laughs> Alright, so to me, I think this looks decent. <laughs> so this is what I came up with. Ito yung photos side by side. So on the left is the before and then on the right is the after. So yeah, and I am happy with that. Okay, third photo. This third photo came from my good friend Paolo Zulueta. He has a hashtag, Photos by PZ. If you guys would like to follow him, please do. Um, actually, he sent me this photo. Na to, but this is a photo of another good friend of mine, si Cristel, who is an amazing dancer, now currently in Hong Kong Disneyland. So if makita niya siya dun, you know, say hi. So again, I want to mess with the tone curve just a bit. Na edit ko na to before, so right now tumatakbo lang sa isip ko kung paano ko siya inedit dante. And I'm um, just trying to remember. And right now, it's so far, nikita ako na kung anong ginawa ko. So yeah, it's more of a play with colors. Ban ko yung highlights kasi gusto ko mas makita yung shadows sa skin niya. Yeah, those uh, fence shadows. Talaga nilalaro ko lang yung mga sliders, guys. That's how I. That's how I learned how to edit photos. Minsan drastic pa yung pag-slide ko left and right just to see ano yung magagalaw ko. Let's go to color. Alright, dyan naalala ko na yung mga ginawa ko. Yeah, I think it's close to this. Yeah, 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 I remember now. <laughs> this is kind of the my usual tones. Recently, if you follow me on Instagram, makita nyo halos ganito yung lagi yung tones ko. When it comes to the blues, uh, it's somewhat on the teal side as you can see even my background is <laughs> is teal i think this is close to what i've done with this specific photo before and there you go here's the finished product and side by side here's the before and here's the after and i am uh, happy with that all right interesting this fourth photo came from a batchmate of mine from claret his name's frank Kuvin. he's experimenting with some product photography as of now we recently reconnected and uh you know um i think he's also into landscape and travel photography which i do a lot here we see a deck of cards from runet decks uh, you guys are awesome i think he purchased this uh specific deck of cards and then he put a knife some um hand puzzles he's got a lighter and he even has that uh if i'm not mistaken this is from the anime full metal alchemist so yeah well you know i, I haven't really done product photography yet but uh, I usually have the same workflow so with this one you really kind of want to highlight what's in the middle okay so all the rest here are just accessories and they have to correlate to the the subject which is your playing cards but when it comes to product photography also or kung walang tao sa picture i usually bump up my clarity higher than the usual because to me clarity uh, ruins the parang natural uh, look ng tao so at least with product photography you can mess with it and it doesn't ruin the photo because you really don't know what natural looks like in this case So I think I'm kind of in with a graduated filter. Because I noticed that this part is kind of dark. And so I don't have any color colors. So with this guys, you can see that there are a lot of colors. And you want to keep the theme. A lot of this is gold and a lot of it is black. So we'll try to get rid of the... Kunti lang. 
we'll try to get rid of the unnecessary colors. So, eventually desaturate natin yung mga orange and browns na nakikita natin. So, I think that works just a bit. And then, uh, yeah, right now, ang pop out on the color is yung silver, yung gold, yung black. Maglalagay pa ako na sa graduated filter pataas because I think this area is a little bit too bright. There you go. So we have a bit of a shine here and I'm happy with this. So side by side, here are the photos. This is the before and the after. Awesome, 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 awesome. So yeah, I think I'm happy with that edit. You know, I, I, don't, I don't really touch on product photography yet, although I would really love to get into it. So thank you, Frank, for this. Let's move on. All right, fifth photo we have uh, here a model from Mike Galvez, who is a good friend of mine. Um, actually, you know what? This in itself is already a good photo. So, medyo ko na lang. So, time lapse. Okay, so uh, with this photo, this is what I ended up with and uh, I'm happy with this one because uh, the photo in itself is already uh, good and um, I don't want to be too Alright, let's jump into the sixth photo which is a photo of this girl. This girl looks familiar. Oh, it's Tin. <laughs> Tin Alcantara who is also an amazing dancer at the Make a Legit status. Yeah, let's let's try something different with this one. This photo is a bit vibrant for my taste, so gagawin natin siyang <sighs> moody. Let's make it a little moody. All right, so na cut actually yung video, ko, but I'm done with Tin's picture, so this is what I ended up with side by side. Um, this is what it looks like. Um, let's bring it out. So this is the before and this is the after. Um, I just uh, basically neutralized. I just uh, desaturated her background colors and somewhat made her colors pop. So I, I don't really know how to uh, verbalize all the other um, elements to this photo but I ended up with this one and I'm happy with this. So these last three photos came from my good friend Skip Tan who is uh, an amazing... Um, lahat sila amazing guys. Sorry kung paulit ulit yung mga adjective ko but He's a sports photographer, he's a um, street photographer, halos lahat ginagawa niya, portrait, but he gave me three um, very nice location photos. Yeah, let's do it. Okay na ako sa warm tone nito, pero gusto ko pa siyang bigyan ng buhay. Okay, it's not much difference, but this is what I came up with. Here's the before, and here's the after. All right, I think I'm happy with this photo because uh, you know it's a very simple photo. Um, it's just the right mood. The eighth photo is wow, it's a highway going. Di ko alam actually kung saan to. By the way, Skip is in Australia, so let me know kung sa Australia tong photo na to. All right, so let's jump into this one. Alright, this is what I came up with. I kind of lost it for a bit. Um, yeah, I think it's in Australia. Because it's left. Yung, <laughs> there's not much to say about this. I gave it a little mood yung photo and it's a, it's a great photo. Uh, a lot of people can do so much better than that, what I just did. <laughs> Alright, last photo. Okay, finally. Alright, I just level this up. I'm going to have symmetric. I'm happy with that. So I, what I want to do with this is kind of give that uh, low light, vibrant feel to it. Dark shot, but you know the lights should pop out.
All right, with this last photo, this is what I ended up with and uh, I'm not happy with it. <laughs> but it is a cool photo. Um, I think I could have done a better job but you know that's all the time i have with you guys for now thank you thank you all so much for participating uh these photographers here in diti mapangala nila please do follow them on instagram show them some love like their photos clearly they could do a better job than what i just did right here i hope you guys like this content thank you for the 200 subscribers guys uh if you're not subscribed and you're watching this please do consider subscribing more content like this hopefully i get better if you have any comments suggestions please put it down in the comments and if you have any advice for me you know guys i'm not an expert here and i'm still learning i'm forever a student and if you have more experience than i do i would gladly listen to them and if you like this content please uh, leave a like and yeah that's it for me i'll see you in the next one peace